Hot air and cold glass, and this is what you get. Mary Wargo in Shavertown caught a moment, and it's a nice one. We look for scenes like this these days of cold and snow, known as winter. We seek some winter fun here from Maria Hayes, Nescopec. We want some fun, don't we? We also don't mind a bit of color now and then, like Nick from East Stroudsburg. If we are lucky, there's some right in front of us. Or as Steve from Higgins captured, a bit of color might just fly in for you. From David Musser in Sealands Grove, there is a moment that stirs up a bit of brightness in the world. Most of the time, though, we better take the ice is nice attitude, because that's about all we get. John Zalevich in Berwick offered some for a look. Cynthia Rod of Catawissa offers a view with a bit of color in it. A most unusual view here from Gloria Steele Nicholson. The Colors of Winter is the title, and when you think about it, what you see here is pretty much what you get. Sometimes we don't even get that. Colors get buried in snow and ice, as shown here by Colleen Campbell, Newfoundland. So we carry on taking color where we can find it, hoping for more all the while. Jen Long in Bloomsburg sent this. Here's some color now from Mary Angela. Sunset from East Mountain is what it's called. Well, as they say, hang in there. Avis Miller found some color on a frosty morning in Berwick. You can do the same. Just keep at it. You never know what color you can find. It'll make your day in winter a lot better. I'm Mike Stevens in the Photolink Library.